Yeah, it's been a it's been a great start to, uh, for for me here. So it's been incredible. To be fair, you couldn't when, once I first came, you you think we've got a relegation battle, and you you're a, mil, a million miles away from um, Wembley. So to have had a, a chance of playing at Wembley is just incredible. But of course, initially when you first came in, I'm, I'm sure Nigel Clough said potentially you might be one for the future. You might use you next season, but you've been fairly involved since the day you know, day one. Yeah, from day one since I made my debut at, at Fulham, came on at half time. He's kind of used me quite more than he probably expected to be fair. I think that's probably due to the part of injury suspensions and stuff like that and I've came in and kind of took my, my chance at quite early and maybe surprised him a wee bit as well and most of the players here. So yeah, it's been it's been great if I the ground running. So when you first joined the club, did you kind of think, right, I'm going to have to bed in, I'm going to have to bide my time and, and this has <coughs> all been a bonus, the fact that you, you're a mainstay of the team now? Yeah, yeah, obviously it takes players like maybe a couple of months to adapt to a new league and stuff but for me I've kind of hit the ground running and I think that's been larger due to the fact of the, the coaching staff and the players made, me, made it so easy to settle in and stuff so yeah the rest of the team have been fantastic with me so it made it a lot easier to settle in. What is it about Nigel Clough then that seems to breed success and get the best out of players, individuals? I mean I look at someone like John Brayford who came on loan but clearly he knows him very well, he, he worked with him previously and he's just been a revelation for you. Yeah John's been absolutely first, first class since he's came in as well but I think if you just work hard for the gaffer then the gaffer will, will encourage you to go and, go and play and gives you confidence to go out and express yourself which every player needs that and I think he's it's, it's clearly showed since he's came in that with the results we've got it, that he's the right man to obviously push us forward and hopefully next season we can hit promotion. We were talking to you in the press conference about kind of the form that you've managed to produce in the league. <coughs> it's kind of gone hand in hand, hasn't it, with your cup success, this run that you've been on? Yeah, obviously sometimes teams might think cup, like cups distractions like don't help a team if you're if you're fighting down the bottom of the league. But for us, it's kind of spurred us on a wee bit, and we got we've got clear of the relegation, and but we're still in a, a, a chance of getting promoted. But we can we, we don't see that happening. To be fair, but yeah, it's it's been great for us. To be fair, it's more realistic to be talking about you could be playing in Europe next season. Well, <laughs> it's incredible to think that we're one game away from potentially winning Europe and uh, an FA Cup final, which is just incredible, incredible. What about the game itself then? Brilliant stage, Wembley Stadium, it's the stuff of dreams, it's been redeveloped over the years but the name obviously has a lot attached to it and then yeah, you, you throw in all your fans down there supporting it, it's going to be a full house, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's going to be, I don't know, about 33,000 Sheffield United fans which is incredible and just to play in front of all them, it's just it's a, a great feeling obviously to have if you, if you play and stuff so yeah, looking forward to it and hopefully we can put on a good show for the fans who, who have came a long way to support us. Do you think a nice big pitch like that you know, <coughs> will suit your game? Yeah, I think it will suit the, the way we play because we kind of try to hit on the counter and we're, we're, we're quite quick at going forward and hopefully the, the, the big, how big the pitch is is going to help us and be an advantage for us and a disadvantage for Hull City. I've seen it over the years because I've watched a fair bit of League One football and Championship football and obviously as you step up and sometimes players maybe find it a bit easier in a weird way at, you know, a game like this against a, a Premier League team or a Championship team because there is a little bit more room and in the League One fixtures it's a bit blood and thunder and you don't really get time to express yourself. Yeah, totally. I, I've kind of experienced that in the, the FA Cup ties we've actually played when we've played against Fulham and even maybe Nottingham Forest and Charlton as well that you get a bit more time compared to the, the League One games because that's more relentless for, throughout the 90 minutes. You, you don't get much time and they're always in your face but when we played against Fulham we've got a bit more time even though we gave them more time as well, but we got more time, so yeah, it was, it's, it's a lot easier to be fair. What about Hull City? I mean, probably you watch Match of the Day, you've seen glimpses of what they can do in uh, the highlight programmes and obviously when they're live on uh, on Sky and what have you, what sort of threat do they, you know? Offer? Well, to be fair, I think if you if we're going to play a Premier League team, they're all going to be high quality players, so we know that they're going to pose a threat and it's just up to us to be able to stop them and, and cause them one or two problems and that's our our aim to, to do really and cause any problems and hopefully we can come out better on the day. Just finally, how are you feeling in the, the countdown to the big day? Are you nervous? Are you relaxed? How are you um, I'm a bit of both to be fair. I think it's it's only nature to have a bit of nerves because it's a big stage and a lot bigger than what I've ever played in front of as well but I'm looking forward to it and I think the rest of the team is and the coaching staff, everyone's excited so looking forward to it.